Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Um, today's video is just about where we are on our journey and what we have planned for the future. So this past March, um, mid-March, we have been trying to conceive for one year. Um, my periods since January have been fairly okay. Um, in January the 4th, I had, um, that was a 65 day cycle, March the 10th was a 31 day cycle, April the 10th was another 31 day, and I was currently, I then started um, another cycle on May 14th, and I'm currently on cycle day 16. Um, last cycle, so the period that started on April 10th, I had, um, Fertility Friend put in um, an ovulation which lasted for, I got to 9 DPO. Um, I'll put my chart in. I really don't know if that really happened. Um, as you can see, the first couple of temperatures did rise a bit, but then they went back down low, so I'm not really sure whether that happened or not. Um, and then I'll put in a picture of my chart this cycle. And as you can see, I've been using the ovulation microscope and you'll see that I have like partial and full ferning and stuff. So I really thought on Saturday that um, with the full ferning that I got on my ovulation microscope that ovulation was going to occur. And so far, it hasn't. Um, so we will see what happens. And um, My body does generally prepare to ovulate but then doesn't do it. Um, so just something new since the last time we've spoken is I have started metformin. On April 8th, I um, took my first dose, dose of metformin. So for one week I took 500 milligrams and now I'm on 1000 milligrams per day. Um, for people who have not taken metformin, there is a lot of side effects, mainly like diarrhea, stomach aches, nausea. Um, I have been experienced in most of those. I kind of get it a lot if I eat breakfast, I don't eat a lunch and then there's a very long gap until my dinner, I get it um, a long time. I get a lot of um, symptoms then. Um, so yeah, so what we are using this cycle, as I said, was the metformin, I continue 1000 mil milligrams per day. I'm gonna, I also take folic acid and um, just using my ovulation microscope. We're just speeding every other day or whenever we really feel like it. Around the time where I think that there's like fertile mucus and stuff, we'll obviously BD and then other than that we just BD whenever the hell we we want we want to. Um the reason behind that is I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because I don't want to constantly be thinking about thinking and stressing and also I don't want to put a lot of pressure on Robert. Um so that's really it around the TTC, not very much to report. Um, just to give you a little life update, um, myself and Robert have moved into our new apartment. We now live in a two bedroom apartment in town. Um, so that's great, we've moved out of Robert's mom and dad's house and we lived there for two years on and off. Um, so that's great, we have our own space. Um, and for those people who follow me on Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my link in the in the description bar below. Um, there's a good TTC community over there, so if anybody is interested in more support, I would recommend that you go to Instagram. Um, so as I was saying, was for the oh yeah, those people that follow me on Instagram will already know that I started a new life project, um, and that is. Basically, I'm just going to try to organize my life and my home. Um, I currently don't have a job, so I have a lot of time on my hands. And I've just found, um, since we've moved in here, that I'm not really handling that time well. Um, I waste away the day, whether it's on my laptop or TV, or generally just doing nothing. <laughs> um, I waste a lot of time doing nothing. Um, I found that we were making excuses. Like I, I, I clean a bit, I do a small amount to get past, you know, and generally it would be on a Saturday morning, I'd get up and just kind of blitz clean the house. And um, I don't want to do that in, anymore. I have a lot of time and I should structure that time 
to stop myself from being bored, to um, get a little bit more structure in my life and hopefully um, as the project continues I'm going to start doing budget planning and budgeting and financial planning and meal planning and grocery hauls and stuff. Um, so those should um, but save us some money, like get more structure in our in our house, in our home and in my life. So that's basically the main reason behind why I want to complete this life project. So I have set up a blog, so the blog is tidythingsireland.blogspot.ie or .com, whichever I think both go to it. I'll, again, I'll leave the description in the link below. And I actually have a YouTube channel for this as well, and it's just youtube.com forward slash tidythingsireland. Um, I have one video up there which I posted yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, um, and that is about how to make a cleaning schedule for yourself. Um, so I will post all of those just links in the description below if any of you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or um, you can check out my blog. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's nice to know some people are following along in your journey and I'm not just doing this all on my own. Um, but anyways, girls, I would like to say congratulations to those people who have um, got their BFPs and to all our lady TTCs. I'm sure our time will come very soon. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. I'm going to put videos out twice a week. And um, like this video if you think that the content is good. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.